Once again, it's your boy Aaron Parich, and this video will just be a little catch up, bring you up to speed of what's been going on lately. So, this is going back to last week, so just speeding through. Uh, I'll go back to um, Wednesday. Wednesday being the first of two days in a row of evangelizing in Edmonton Green and in both cases uh, yeah not only has the word been shared but a healing has taken place both cases men were limping uh, me calling forth brother or sister to pray with me for their healing and in both cases um, they both testified to feeling much better the first guy's name Jason um, you know he was limping in his in his leg um, I had to share the notes of what exactly was wrong but basically, he said that because um, there was that. He said that walking was much smoother, felt smoother. He wasn't feeling the pain anymore. We give glory to God for that. And the second man on the second night, um, he was like, you know, his. Limp was so bad, I mean, he was actually leaning forward um, from his lower back. Um, so, we prayed for him, like, we just touched, we, we just prayed for God to touch him in that space, and then, you know, as he was progressing forward, oh my days, praise God. He was walking up straight, walking up straight, yeah. Um, and these were just highlights from the evangelism that had taken place in that area over those two days. There was more, well, other things took place like people that we spoke to, um, groups on their own, people coming with, uh, one guy coming with his an argument, uh, Christianity, white man's religion, and for the first time, this guy saying that wasn't even a black man, he was, uh, like a Middle Eastern looking man. But these are things I just want to highlight to actually encourage um, alongside the more recent testimony that I shared um, regarding if you keep scrolling down um, you see me on um, uh, testimony time issue 2 talking about um, the four boys that I ministered to two of them, you know, they received healing from God and regarding um, his ankle Another one regarding uh, pain in his lower back. Um, yeah, signs shall follow you that you shall heal, that you shall heal diseases, sickness, um, even small things like little injuries and pains. You know, that is enough to, you know, open somebody's eyes and be like, wow, this Jesus thing is real. Um, so that's a highlight just over those two days. And I'm just looking at my calendar so I can just stay on track with what I want to share um, was there something significant that happened so yeah and over the just receiving more word from people and just you know pressing in more trusting in God you know just when you think that okay I've got a sense of what my purpose is you know where I'm going but God just has his way of saying that, you know, you barely scratched the surface, so um, I just use this as encouragement, you know, you never arrive, there's always more in Christ, so just keep chasing the dream that he has for you, and, you know, just, just always continue to be real with him about, you know, the desires that you have, and, you know, if it is his will, he shall give you the desires of your heart, you know, that's the context of that scripture. Um, what else? Yeah, I guess that. I guess that's it, really. 
Um, just to bring those things into consideration, um, just always chase the purpose that God has given you. And oh yeah, <clears throat> and you know, over the last two days, um, Monday and Tuesday, um, you know, spent time with um, you know different ministries within um, Spark Nation. Um, Monday, Dr. Dustin at Enfield. We got the Enfield Eagles, and then um, spent some time on Tuesday um, at Youth Revival Ministries. Um, the whole emphasis is just on uh, building deeper intimacy with God. Um, with Enfield Eagles, it's that like word and worship, and then, you know, there wasn't much word on the Tuesday, it was more worship, so sort of deepening the intimacy with God. That was your proper reasonable service, your proper reasonable worship unto God. And then also, yeah, love. You know, there needs to be love within the church. First uh, John uh, chapter three is very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very passionate about that. I mean, Jesus loves us all. We ought to love one another. The Bible also does make it clear that. Know, by love towards one another will we be recognized as the children of God. Now, we're not just saying that we are believers, we are also showing as well. So it's important that we maintain it because you know, if you don't have love for him, you hate our brother, the love goes no one else. You know, he, he who hates his brother is a murderer. First John 3 is no good on that. And you know, it's, it's not a joke, so you know, if you uh, so, there's some Christians out there who you know, say you believe, that you love God with you, your heart and all that, but yet you have resentment, bitterness in your heart towards somebody uh, who is a believer as well. Doesn't matter what it is, you need to let that go. You need to let that go. How can you expect uh, forgiveness from God if you're not even willing to uh, um, extend that to another human being? The Bible also says, you know, how are we going to love someone? We don't see God. Like if we fail to love people we do see, then you know how much more are you going to flop um, in not being able to love He who you can't see with your natural eye, and that's God Almighty. So yeah, it's just these little points, uh, not little, but what may seem little in our human thinking. Um, when we actually take these things seriously, like it must go a long way, a long way. So let's be encouraged with that, guys. And yeah, there's going to be more to come, more to come. All right.